everyone, my name is Rebecca. I'm one of the string teachers at Hanson Community Arts. And this is a short video for all of you who are taking part in the Sweet Chime and Christmas Bells video that we're putting together this Christmas. So this is gonna be primarily for our upper string players. So if you're a violin player or a viola player, this should hopefully be helpful to you. Okay, first violins, I want to make a few suggestions for the finger patterns you can use. This is a big letter D and big letter O, where we go up quite high and we have some semiquavers. So I'm just going to be starting from the third bar of D. Uh, I'll talk it through uh, as I play it slowly. So start in first position. Now when we reach the G, which is the third beat of that bar, we're going to shift into third position. So starting on a two on the G, and then a three up in third position for that high C, okay? So you might want to practice this shift a few times. Between second finger and third finger. So I'll do that again and I'll carry on. Starting first. Two, three. Stay in third. Okay, you wanna stay in third because the next bit works really nicely if we do two and a three for that sixth there. So the E at the bottom of that slur, second finger on the A string. And then third finger again up on the E string for that top C. So I'll do that again and I'll carry on. Into third. Stay in third. Two, three. Now, the last beat of that bar, go back into first. Okay? So you, that, that, um, that was the third and fourth beat of the bar before E. Start in third position, two, three, two, one, two, one, open. So by the time you reach E, you're back in first position. And then the bar of E. So that was the second beat, halfway through the second beat of E, I went into third position. section at E again. Don't use open E's in this bar either because you'll be crossing um, over to the E string unnecessarily and it'll just make the, the string crossings really hard. So from E, starting first position, four, now one. Okay, I'm going to do that whole bit one more time. So this applies to big letter D and also big letter O. Starting from the third bar, first position. Third, stay in third. First, third. So hopefully that will be a helpful suggestion. I am open to other suggestions as well, but that one might be the one that will work the neatest. So uh, give that a try.